family from Thanet say they're being forced to live apart after the council rehomed them nearly 50 miles away in Chatham. Wayne Price and his partner Sarah Foster have five daughters and their eldest is now living with her grandmother so she can still attend her grammar school. Local councillors say there's a housing crisis in Thanet and some people who need temporary accommodation are being sent to different counties. Sarah Smith reports. Watching a film together, this looks like a happy family, but someone is missing. 13-year-old Courtney is staying with her grandparents in Ramsgate so she can stay at her school. The rest of the family has been moved over an hour away to Chatham. Wayne Price lost his job after being injured in a car crash. He was evicted because his landlord didn't take tenants on benefits and turned to the council for help. All of our family, both sides, mine and my partners, all live in Fanet. So well, we're, we're fish out of water up here. We really don't know anyone, we don't know the area and they just stuck us up here and said, there you go. They've been warned it could be a three-year wait to get out of this temporary accommodation, and they're not alone, which is why one councillor is pressing the council on what it plans to do about it. In most cases, families get about 24 hours' notice. Families are literally told to pick up what they've got, their clothes in, in suitcases or bags, and move to wherever they're being told to go. So that could be Medway, that could be Dover. It's certainly very often miles away. There's no denial of a housing crisis by council officers, and the reasons are twofold. It's just not enough affordable homes um, to provide for the families that need somewhere to live, um, and the and access to the private rental sector is becoming much more difficult. Rents are expensive beyond what people can afford and the supply is just not there. In the private sector in Thanet, a home for the Price family would be way out of their reach. And anyway, fewer and fewer landlords appear willing to rent to those on benefits. They're currently homeschooling two of their children, but next year their second daughter should be starting grammar school in Thanet. She'll also have to leave her family to do so. Leaving my daughter behind and looking to my best friend to step up and be there when I'm not. That's hard. The council says this is a national crisis and they need central government help to cope. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today, Chatham.